Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Biology. Uh, today we'll continue our study of uh, cell structure and functions of what of cells. Okay, so we'll be looking at cell organelles. Okay, and of course we have seen uh, quite a few. Today we are going to look at the endoplastic reticulum, the one we call the ER for short. ER, the endoplastic reticulum. All right, do not forget that this tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the one and only most cherished O3 schools jam up. Thousands and thousands of testimonies from other students. Your case will not be different. Okay, so the O3 school jam up helps you to prepare for your examination. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course, it has all the past questions that you need. So you don't need to struggle to go and buy one past question for one five, one thousand five hundred naira. Okay, so if you want to buy for four, you already spent six thousand naira in getting past questions. All right, so please go to uh, Play Store. Download the application on your phone and start practicing today. It has all the past questions you need. It has some features like the classroom feature where there are lecture notes for you to study. So you don't need to go and be hustling for textbook. Then, of course, question search feature. You can search the question according to topic. Okay, and the question under that topic that Jamba said before will come out for you to answer. What else again? We have the mock challenge, the UTME challenge. Okay, so you have an opportunity to participate in mock every Saturday. Just imagine how that one will help you. Imagine it will help you to build your confidence towards the main exam. It will make you get used to jam past questions and, of course, you'll be able to grind. All right, so please do not joke with this. I'll go to Play Store immediately, download, and what activate for just 3,000 error as at the time of shooting this video. It will increase in the future. So please. Don't tell me that uh, the video man says it's 3,000. It will increase, oh, all right? Even right now, I'm saying that 3,000 now. <laughs> it took a lot to put it at that price. All right, so please go to grade the app, pass your exam at once, and leave every other talk. Okay, let's look at the endoplastic reticulum, all right? So the endoplastic reticulum, uh, reticulum rather, we have uh, two types. Okay, we have the rough ER, the rough endoplastic reticulum, and then we have the smooth endoplastic reticulum. Those are the two endoplastic reticulum that we have. The rough endoplastic reticulum and the smooth endoplastic reticulum. Okay? Now, the rough endoplastic reticulum is the one that is studded, that is stuffed with ribosomes. Okay? So it has ribosomes what attached to it. Okay? A lot of ribosomes are attached to the world, to the rough endoplastic reticulum and that is what gives it that that texture, that rough-like texture. So that's why we say it is what it is rough. Okay, so it is what stuffed or it is studded with what with ribosomes, giving it that what rough-like texture. Okay, give me that rough-like rough rough-like rough structure. Okay, it is what it is studded with what with uh, ribosomes, and that is how we call. Well, that's how we say it is what it has what this rough-like texture. Now, apart from that. What happens in the rough endoplastic reticulum? What happens in the rough endoplastic reticulum is that as the ribosomes, as the ribosomes would produce what protein, you no know, ribosomes are for protein synthesis. So as the ribosomes, <laughs> ROI, ribosomes, as the ribosomes produce protein, ribosomes produce protein, the proteins are threaded, they are threaded, they are threaded into the core, they are threaded. They are threaded. They are threaded into the core. They are threaded into the core of the endoplastic reticulum. Okay? So as ribosomes, what ribosomes as they produce protein, the world, this protein that were are threaded into the core of the endoplastic or of the rough endoplastic world, reticulum. Okay? And when they are threaded into the uh, into the uh, uh threaded into the pores of what this a uh, rough ER, okay? Inside the rough ER, the proteins that are there, that are more studded, that are attached to the rough endoplastic reticulum, they fold into their unique shape. Fold, the F-O-L-D. F-O-L-D, they fold into what their unique what shape, okay? And when they fold into their unique shape, while it is folding, they are transported through the what? Through the pathway of the rough endoplastic reticulum okay these proteins that are what that are folded into their unique shape are now what transported they are transported through transported through they are transported through the pathway through the pathway of the rough 
endoplastic reticulum. Then what then happens in this rough ER? Then the proteins leave the rough what endoplastic what, reticulum through what a vesicle. Okay, through a vesicle, a vesicle, a medium of transport, a vesicle. Okay, the proteins now leave that rough endoplastic reticulum through what this what vesicle that are now what transported to what other parts or other locations of what of the cell. This is what happens in the rough e arrow. So you see modification of proteins happening what in the rough ER. You see the folding of what of proteins happening in the what in the rough ER. So those are things that what happen in the what in the rough ER. I'll go over that again. And I said, say in the rough, uh, there are what two types of what in the plastic reticulum where we have one, the rough and the plastic reticulum and the smooth and the plastic reticulum. And I said the rough and the plastic reticulum is called rough because it is tufted, it is studded with what? With ribosomes. And because it is studded with ribosomes, it has what this rough rough-like texture. It has this rough-like texture. Okay? And then I say what happens inside this rough endoplastic reticulum. What happens is that as ribosomes would produce protein, okay, as ribosomes produce a protein, the proteins are threaded. They are threaded into the core, into the core of the what? Endoplastic what? Reticulum. Okay? They are threaded into the core of the rough what? ER. Okay? So the protein now, while those proteins are inside what? The core Okay, inside the pore of what of the rough arrow, these proteins now, now what fold into their unique what structure. Okay, they fold into their unique structure and then they are transported. Okay, through the pathway of the rough endoplastic or reticulum by what by a vesicle to what other locations of what of the cell. Okay, so also in the rough arrow we see what transport transport of proteins. Okay, transportation of what of proteins happens in the rough ER also. So folding or modification of what of proteins happen in the what in the rough ER also. So please take note of what all this. Okay, so now uh, we have seen the rough endoplastic reticulum. Let's talk about the smooth endoplastic reticulum. And before we talk about the smooth endoplastic reticulum, if you have not liked this video, what you are doing is very, very wrong. It's very wrong. You are doing waiting no good. You are doing waiting no good. So please, just click on that like button, that hand that looks like this. Just click on that like button immediately so that other students can easily find this video. Also, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Subscription to this channel is completely free. It's completely free. So just click on that red subscribe button if you have not done so before. And if you have done so, thank you very much. And do not forget to keep sharing this video. Keep sharing. Eh? Keep sharing so that others will learn. Now, let's look at the smooth arrow. What happens in the smooth arrow? The smooth arrow is uh, the region for what lipid synthesis. The region for what? For lipid synthesis. You must take note of that. For what? For it's for what? For lip it involves what lipid what synthesis. Okay, the smooth arrow involves lipid synthesis. Take note of that. So substances like steroids, steroids. Substances like phospholipids, phospholipids, phospho and oils, phospholipids. Some substances like steroids, phospholipids, and oils are produced in the smooth endoplastic reticulum. Okay, so we say what the smooth endoplastic reticulum involves what lipid synthesis. Okay, and of course, substances like steroids, like we have. Phospholipids and oils are produced in the smooth endoplastic reticulum. Also, okay, the smooth endoplastic reticulum involves storage of calcium ions. Storage of calcium, calcium ions. CA2 plus. Okay, they also involves what the storage of what of calcium what ions. So what happens? Okay, what happens? These calcium ions are pumped into what the smooth endoplastic reticulum. They are pumped, P-U-M-P. They are pumped into what the smooth endoplastic what reticulum. And when they are pumped into the what? Into the smooth endoplastic reticulum by what you call active transport. They are pumped into the S-E-R-O, the smooth endoplastic reticulum by what you call what? Active what transport. And of course, as they are pumped in, it triggers what a nerve impulse. When what a nerve impulse is what is triggered, the this uh, calcium ions that are pumped in rush out. Okay, first of all, they are pumped in, 
uh, pumped into the world, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, okay, by active uh, by active transport, and then when a nerve uh, uh, a nerve impulse is triggered, the what they rush out, okay. So that is what happens in what in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. This movement of calcium ions, this movement of what of Ca two plus what ions into and out of what of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, okay. Involves what it triggers what a nerve response. It triggers what a nerve response. Okay, so as it triggers what a response in the cell, then of course you will now see that what the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is what is useful for what for storage of what of Ca two plus ions also. Okay, so like I said, when what uh, the Ca two plus ions are pumped in, they are pumped in by active transport. They rush out when a nerve. Uh, response or when, when, whenever a nerve impulse, a nerve impulse is what is triggered. Okay, so that's what happened is what in the word in the smooth e arrow. Okay, now this movement. Okay, for example, like in the muscle cells, in muscle cells, in muscle cells, we call that movement uh, contraction in muscle cells. Muscle cells. In muscle cells, we call that movement, okay, of calcium in your in and out of what the smoothie arrow, we call it what contraction. C O, you know what contraction is, right? Contraction. Okay, so we put it silly pumped. They said they pumped into what the smoothie arrow by active transport, and then they are released in response to what to a nerve or when a nerve response is what is triggered, okay, or to what to hormonal signals. Sometimes you say they are what they are released by what by hormonal signals, okay. So that's what happens in what in the smooth e arrow, okay. In muscle cells, we see that as what as contraction of what of the muscles or what for movement, okay. We see that as contraction of the muscles for movement, and in this in this uh, in muscle cells, SE arrow that is the smooth endoplastic reticulum has a special name. We call that the sarco, uh, the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Okay, in what in muscle cells, SE arrow that is smooth endoplastic reticulum has a special name. We call that the sarco, uh, sarcoplasmic reticulum. Alright, so that is all you need to know about what the smooth uh, and the rough what and the plastic what reticulum. Call it what the sarcoplastic what reticulum. Okay, so take note of all this. Alright, so those are what that's that is what happens is what in the rough ER and the smooth ER. Okay, so now let us look at the notes that we have before us to what to drive the, the point home before what we take question from the O3 schools jam app. All right, so we say this is a continuous membrane, okay? And of course, note that what, note that the, uh, the, uh, the endoplastic reticulum is continuous with the nuclear membrane. It is, it is continuous with the nuclear membrane. Okay, it is continuous with the nuclear what membrane. Okay, that's why I say it's a continuous membrane that forms a series of flattened sacs with what with cytoplasm. It forms a series of what of flattened what flattened sacs, a continuous membrane. Okay, that forms a series of flattened sacs with what with cytoplasm. We say it is its main function is in the synthesis of protein in the folding. Okay, like I told you what. It's what fold into what the uh, into what it's what unique shape in the rough ER, right? So its function is what is in synthesis, it's in the folding, it's in the modification and transport of proteins. Okay, so you must take note of what the functions of the endoplastic reticulum, either small, smooth what or rough combined. Okay, function is what is what uh, I mean. Function is in synthesis, it's in the folding, it's in the modification and the transportation of what of what those what proteins. Okay, so there are two main types of ER which I have looked at. The, the rough arrow, okay. We say this one has ribosomes attached to what to them, okay. This one has ribosomes what stuffed or studded to what to eat, okay. So it has ribosomes attached to it, giving me that rough like texture. Then we have the smooth endoplastic reticulum, does which, which doesn't have ribosomes what attached what to eat, okay. It's a, it's a region for for lipid synthesis, it involves lipid synthesis, okay. We say the smooth arrow are there for use in steroid synthesis, okay. So we say substances like exteriors, phospholipids, and oils are produced in the smooth endoplastic reticulum. Then, of course, they say why the rough arrow is used in the synthesis of what? Of protein. So, this is where I'm going to end. But before we go, I'm going to take a question from the O3 School Jump app. Okay, let's take even if it's one. Sorry, I didn't uh, use the question chart very search to, to look for question, but I think I know I, uh, I uh, quickly, let us just take one. Let us take one. 
before we go. They say this is a 2022 question number three. They say the following are the functions of rough, rough, rough endoplastic reticulum, except yeah, they say they transport. You can, you can see the question on the board right now. They say they transport metabolic products within cytoplasm between the cytoplasm and nucleus. Okay, so transportation of what of what of proteins is what is a function okay of the rough endoplastic reticulum. So it is there. Say so B, they say they help in formation of enzymes and protein. Also, they also help in the synthesis of what of protein and the formation of what of enzymes and protein. Okay, so C, they say they uh, interconnect the organelles of what of, of the cell. Okay, like we said. Initially, we say it's a continuous membrane that forms series of what flatten sacs with the what with the cytoplasm. So they interconnect the organelles of what of the cell. We say D D. They say they destroy one out part of the cell. D They destroy one out part of the. Is there anywhere in our discussion we we'll talk about uh, uh, destruction of one out part of the cell? No. So that is not a function of the endoplastic or reticulum. All right. So the our correct answer there was will be option D. Okay. So this is where I got to what end in this class. The next episode we are going to look with the Golgi bodies. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.